coming back at you another Let's Play episode of Dawn Chorus, and I believe we are on Jorgen's path still. So y'all, I am recording from my, uh... Is that, that doesn't look like Jorgen's path to me. No, it does not. That's weird. Oh. Oh yeah, that is Jorgen's path. I have that weird little thing there. Yeah, okay. Alright y'all, let's go ahead and jump right back into it. Alarm chain, you are up, and let's go. Hmm. Okay. You grab the handle and open it. Ooh. The source of the heat seems to be up ahead. Waves of hot air licking at your face. Something wants to be found. It pulls you toward it, eager. The corridor goes on and on, a red glow shining at the end of it, taking the place of the darkness as you walk along the raw concrete. Something about this place feels familiar. You're sure you've touched these walls before. The smell hints at some long, deeply buried memories. It's a bunker. Why would I ever be in a bunker? Something stirs in your heart, though. You not only know this place, you created it. You know what's ahead of you. Still, your paws carry you forward. Is it even still there, after all these years? You can't be sure. But your paws walk you around a bend, and behind it is a concrete chamber. Thin pillars like a whale's bare ribcage. Y'all, if the animation seems a little janky or whatever, it's because I'm running my laptop on performance mode, because I'm visiting my parents for the weekend, so... Yeah, might be a little choppy. You take a step forward, paw touching steel bar grating, walking into a place all too familiar, and I don't have the charger for the laptop either! There it is, ahead of you. Lying on the table exactly as you left it. A safe. Locked. You know the combination. It's etched into your head. You don't even have to try to recall it. I don't want to be here. You don't want to be here. You don't want to open it. Your paws don't listen to you. You can't take a step back. But your paws led you here for a reason. There's something you have to do before you come back. Better think. Why are you here again? Why now? I don't want to be here, but I have to. Why? To open my heart again. To what? To pain? To love. And to pain, too. The pain past and the pain possible. To heartbreak and loss. To all the pain still on your path. For a heart that numbs itself to pain cannot feel love. A paw scratches at my cheek. Brushing through my fur. Hey. Hey, sleeping prince. Hmm? What's up? I think I fell asleep. You slept for two hours. Everything is coming back to me slowly, emerging from the muddy waters of the dream, receding back into the corners of my subconsciousness. I... Uh, I'm waking up, but it isn't easy. I know. But supper has already started. Thank you. And, uh, sorry for falling asleep. What were you doing? I've read something on my phone. I don't need much sleep. Hmm. I think I saw something important in my dream, but I don't really remember now. The dream slips to my grasp like an eel in water, escaping its hunter. Only now I'm hunting for meaning. What was the dream about? I think it was something that has already happened to me before. I was in a place that felt very familiar, but I don't really know anymore what it was. Try to catch it now. Dreams rarely come back later. I always try to hold on to mine. Usually they're mundane. Not much to remember, but sometimes they can, they can surface interesting things. For example, I never remembered my grandpa who died when I was a kid. Until I had a dream with him. I knew it was him right away. I couldn't verify, with any of the, with, with, couldn't verify it with any of the family album. But somehow I just know it. Oh, I'm sorry to hear. Don't be. I didn't get to know him. Cruel as it might sound, it doesn't feel like I lost someone. My dream. Hmm. Concrete. Staircase and marble. I connect individual strands and finally an Im the image comes together in my mind. I focus on it harder, trying to come up with anything, and suddenly, like two synapses connecting, it clicks. There you know. Okay. Hmm, have you ever heard of mind palaces? No, not really. What about them? I made one for myself back in middle school. 
was pretty neat an imagined place that you can get into at any time, vivid and fixed, where you can summon or build anything you want. Really, it's a fancy name for it, some advanced daydreaming, but anyway, what I was getting to, I think I visited mine in my dream. You didn't visit it lately. No, I forgot it existed. What does it look like? There's a marble hall in the center. I imagined a photo lab attached to it later, and inside it a door to a brightly lit corridor leading somewhere, but I don't know where. What do you mean you don't know where? Didn't you create it yourself? I let my subconsciousness work on that part. I've entered the corridor a few times, but never got to its end. I think it's better that I don't know. This way the possibilities are endless. I can still wonder what's there. There was a lot more on the outside. A park, and in it a purple lake looking like jelly. I think I got an idea for, for, for that one from a game. I used to I used to float in it like a canoe. I used it to float on it. I used, I used to float on it in a canoe often and try to compose music. It never worked out too well. I don't think I have any talent for music. I think I wanted to try it because Miko was into it. Sounds like a neat thing to have, but also hard to create. I wonder if it could really be a useful tool, for composing or otherwise. And if it wouldn't get in the way of enjoying the real world. I think I'd rather go for a walk and explore something to do it in my head. Yeah, I get it. I think there's some balance to it that's healthy. A life without fantasy would feel bland to me. True. That's what every book is. Maybe unless it's a phone book. But every book tells a story. Even if it's an encyclopedia. It's not only a book of facts, it's a documentation of our collective imagination. Trying to catalog things natural and animal made. In book or not, the mind always tries to put things into a narrative. We have the brains of storytellers. Even if we tell the stories to ourselves only. Oh, this bat. He fascinates me. I miss chats like that. It is such a joy to hold not just anyone, but him in my arms. Do you want Do you want to tell me the dream with your grandpa? Maybe as we start heading for supper. Just let me wash my face. I need to wake up. I need to wake up and make myself at least somewhat presentable. Jam on, Miko. Jam on. My grandpa was sitting behind behind a glass pane. He was speaking to me, but I couldn't hear a word. I leaned towards Jorgen, sitting next to me, and trying to hear him through the raised voices of other students chatting over their food. By the way, did you see Lake anywhere? No, not since we split out in the lobby. Hmm. I thought he'd come for supper as soon as it starts. Maybe he fell asleep too. Do you think we should check up on him? We could save him some food if he doesn't come, come soon, but I'm sure he'll be here for the film. The food today is nice, too. He'll like it. Hmm, maybe. I was so focused on the conversation that I barely registered the taste, or what I was eating for that matter. It doesn't happen to me often. What is this bat doing to me? But, but now that he mentions it, he's right. We have sandwiches again, and beetroot, horseradish, and rocket on rye bread, plus a small slice of pie on cashew cream. Oh, that cream is so good. It is. I have to look for recipes once we're back. Oh, the dream. Where were you? Oh, right. My grandpa behind a pane of glass. I think it was in a prison cell of some sorts, but I can't be sure. That was the impression I got. It felt raw. Brute. Carpenter brute? <laughs> Is that know? Okay. Do you know that's where the word brutalism comes from? From French brute. Raw. Not brutal. I'm not sure what that is. That's irrelevant, really. I just like brutalist architecture. So I was visiting him alone when I was a, when I wasn't a kid anymore. I'm not entirely sure how old I was then. Maybe seventeen. I had a feeling that he did something wrong. That he was ashamed from the way he was looking at me. But I didn't want to listen to what he had to say. I didn't care. I didn't even know him. I asked him. As my vision tinted red, I asked him the only question that mattered for me. Oh, okay. Alright, well, I guess we are done right now with Jorgen's Path. Alright, that was a bit of a shorter video. Still got some nice content out of it. Uh, let's see if there's any notes over here. Okay. I want to thank our patrons for support. It's thanks to them that this project can continue. If you like the game, yes, I love this game. It's incredible.
Otherwise, you're making following us on itch.io, blah, blah, blah. Also, check out our just-released side story following the beginning of Devin and Rune's friendship, Broken Harbors. Thank you, and until next time. Nice. All right, y'all. I think I'm going to leave it right there for now. Um, yeah. Uh, so Jorgen is out of the way. We had an, a recent update. I forget who it is. Maybe it's Torolf. Whoever it is, I'll cover them. But yeah, and I'm also covering our Broken Harbors video, y'all. If y'all haven't watched the Broken Harbors video, absolutely go out there and watch it. it is, oh my god, I love it. It's incredible so far. But yeah, anyway, thank y'all so much for watching. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, ring that notification bell, and check out our Patreon if you can. It always helps. Anyway, I love you all. I'll see y'all in the next video. Bye-bye!